What's up guys, my name is Tyler Mason. I'm the owner of Dream Auto Clinic. We have a great group of guys here. There's four or five of us any given time and uh, we've been doing hot rods since, it's been about a year since I've opened this place. We build cool stuff like this. We build people's dream cars and, and things that they've dreamed about and we bring them to life. I got that dog in me, yeah. Turn me up. Big energy, got the crowd going nuts. I got that dog in me, yeah. Any up. I take on anyone. I don't need a one no one. I got that dog. This car is pretty special to me because it uh, belongs to the guy that builds my prosthetic devices and keeps me going at the high level that, you know, the highest level that I can uh, given the situation. But he's uh, talked to me about this car ever since I've known him and figure for doing what he's done for me, let's give him a shiny hot rod. He's really excited about it. He's had the car. It's been in his family for 40 years, I believe. And he started redoing it about 20 years ago. And it's got an LS motor in it, you know, nice transmission and interiors redone, all the wiring. It's a great platform. All it needs now is just a shiny paint job. And here at my shop, Dream Auto Clinic, that's what we do. Okay, you wanna go make some sealer? On this car, we're gonna use the Valorum 300 series sealer. Uh, pretty neat product. You mix your gray shades or you can do white, black, whatever you wanna do pretty much. Uh, works really good, levels out real nice. Dries good, all around solid product. This vehicle calls for an undercoat uh, 250 shade, which is um, kind of a darker gray, and it causes the red to cover a whole lot better than going over like a traditional white or something like that. The pigment and everything just really reacts great to the darker undercoat. I like to tack right after I wipe down and then I'll throw my suit on and then uh, give it a last quick little blow and, and tack just to make sure we get the cleanest job possible because it does get a little different. So today we're gonna use the Exodus 1.3 OP for base. We're gonna use the SunPro light attachment, which is uh, comes in very handy for doing these rocker panels and stuff up underneath, especially with my limited mobility. It's sometimes hard for me to get down there and 
make sure I got coverage on the rockers. Have you ever poured stuff in there and that vent's been open? No, not yet, but I've, God, I, I can see totally it see that happening. I see it happening. <laughs> yeah, that I would suck. Triple check them because, I mean, when I first got these cups, I saw that as uh, what could be a major problem. Still getting used to them, they're pretty good. We're gonna use this right out of the box. I'm gonna clean it out real fast. Yeah, gonna <laughs> We're gonna clean it out real quick and go for it. Nice. OP. One, three. First impression of the gun. Never used it in my life. I like it. I'm definitely gonna use it more. That's a pretty good unit. It allows me to spray my base wet like I like to. I, I don't like, you can't, you can't spray base dry and all that. The fan was really, really good. The output with that nozzle size and the atomization was just right on par with what I was expecting to be honest. I look forward to trying the clear gun because if that one can lay base that well, I can only imagine what the clear gun's gonna do. I think you're gonna love it. <laughs> <laughs> On this vehicle, we're gonna use a Valorum two to one overall clear. It's a decent solid clear that uh, covers really well and builds nice. You can polish on it. Uh, has a real good shine holdout. Just a great clear altogether. This is the hardener for it. It's packaged in a gallon and gallon. There's also a faster version of that as well. So you can 
uh, mix and match whatever speed you want for your conditions. I really like that. Today we're just going to use slow though since it's a complete and slow is their uh, overall has a designation on it for S slow. Pretty cool. Camino done. Um, it came to us kind of pre-body worked a little bit. We had to fix some areas and uh, kind of fine-tune the fit and finish, you know, the headlight buckets, um, kind of a lot of stuff just here and there, little things. Uh, we went ahead and reprimed it, blocked it, um, primed it again, painted it with Valorum products by Axel Nobel. Um, this car means a lot to me because it's owned by a person that Basically, I feel like gave me my life back after a tragic accident, took my right leg. Um, I'm an amputee now. I spent 31 years of my life with two legs and now I have one and a half. But uh, this belongs to Steve Peoples. He owns Peoples Prosthetics and Orthotics. Um, he builds my prosthetic devices. And ever since I met him, I met him in the hospital um, after my accident and found out he was into cars and whenever he started talking about this car i said you know what man i said someday i want to paint that car for you it's been in his family for over 40 years i believe uh, his father bought it i don't know if he purchased it new or not but probably close to nearly new uh, it's been through a whole lot of memories with him and his dad and his dad's still around so he wanted to go ahead and have it redone and then uh present it back to his dad again, you know, someday and say, here, this is what we've done with your car. And it turned out very incredible. Uh, it used to be a vinyl top car. It's not a vinyl top car anymore. We went ahead and painted the roof and he's kind of on the fence if he's going to put a vinyl top back on it or not. Um, we did the SS stripes on it. Um, 
bunch of neat little neat little things. My favorite part of the car, it has a, an operational cowl. It does have a six liter LS swap. Everything's modernized uh, under the hood, but the cowl still works and it's hooked up to a vacuum system. So whenever you hit the gas, the cowl still goes up and down. And I, I think that's one of the coolest parts of the car because it's just, it's different. And a lot of people don't incorporate that anymore. They just leave it how it is. And, but to have a working cowl is pretty darn neat, I think. In this uh, bed area here, I asked Steve, I said, hey man, I said, because the bed looked pretty rough. And I said, hey, can I do a color tinted bed liner in this, in this car? And he's like, yeah, go, you know, do whatever you do to your own car. So I said, okay. And he said, but whenever you do it, don't take any of the dents out of the bed, nothing. He said, don't fix anything, don't fill anything, simply sand it, shoot the bed liner. And I'm like, okay, you know, why? And he said, well, every dent that's in this bed, my father and I put in there ourselves. You know, we're slamming stuff out here on the farm, you know, and denting things up. And he's like, I want to retain that. I want to keep everything that we've done to this. And he's like, we'll go ahead and color it, make it look super nice. He's like, but I want to remember everything that I've done and that my father's done to this car. And I, th I thought that was kind of cool. So we left the dents in there. So if you see the dents and you're like, why didn't they fix them? There's a reason we didn't fix them. And that's it.